Hey guys, it's me. I'm back. It is, I think, Wednesday. Pretty sure. <laughs> it has been such a nice day. We have rain, a lot of rain. Then it's overcast, and the weather guy said that we're going to be in the 70s soon. Oh, what a great morning for the weather. Okay, so I'm going to work on this uh, journal again. We're going to finish the cover and then um, see where we'll go after that. So this is what we have so far. We matted it. And uh, this is for the cover. And then I realize <laughs> I made these wrong. Um, this should get matted on a, a piece of cardstock or file folder. And so we'll come back to that and we'll do that later on. Didn't hurt a thing though. And so that's it. That's what we got for now. So I am going to, okay, so this is what I dragged for this. I have some yellow ribbons in here. So this one, this one, that one, that one wouldn't go. This one might. I really don't know why I'm dead set on yellow, but I am. So, that back in there. Okay, so I, this is the one I had in mind. This is like, I really like this one. And I think that it would go good, like right there. You know, that plaid would probably go good too, but I like that, so I'm gonna put that. Okay, so right about there. And Hmm. Look, I like the yellow. I'm keeping the yellow. I thought about this, and I just like the yellow. Now, so which is the front and which is the back? Not sure it really matters. I don't think so. Okay, so I'm going to put that. But then I was thinking maybe put a little of this also to for, you know, to draw in the cover, the, you know, the close, you know, the closure. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I get it to the edge just a little over not a lot just a little past the edge So yeah, I like that. And I think it will hang over a little bit, but I also think it will be okay. And then come in with the wide yellow and just lay this on top of it like that. 
Okay, but let's even this up on the end first. And I'm putting my tape like below this lace. Um, we're going to put a bead of glue along the lace, but we're going to put the, the tape underneath. Maybe I should pull that off first and then, then I won't have to deal with if the glue gets on it. so it doesn't, um, it's going to get that big ball of glue on top. And so we're just going to go right there, right to the end of the tape. Even that one up and okay that's pretty good so then I just want to see what it looks like <laughs> might look hideous but it doesn't I like it I like that yellow on there I don't know why it just seems folly to me and it kind of plays on the yellow over here I like it Okay, so I'm going to put it down. And maybe I would put a piece of like something right there. But I'm not going to. It's fine the way it is. Oh, I'm not going to put it down yet. First, I'm going to put my my thing there but that I want to and I didn't do it yet either guys God, I really need to do this okay I have to let the cats have their box back so <laughs> crazy okay it cuts out all my natural light. So I'm going to do the thing again. I guess I am going to do this. So. Right here. I'm going to put this down. 
and measure like there. Right on this one. You know, I think I should just cut this because it gets too hard. It's so hard. Okay. put that right there and I think I can use this if it's still sharp I don't know if it is or it isn't but we're see so just lay that right there and give it a straight line not a straight line. That is pretty much a straight line right there. Right. get the little end but I can just go like this and it'll be fine and then don't throw that away you can um, put it outside for the birds you can use it on tags you can just do anything you want with it but don't throw it away so we're gonna lay this down Kind of evenly get it right there, right? And I'm going to get a little pencil and just mark where I want it. Okay, that's good. We're going to use that rotary plate again as soon as we line this up. So when you line it up, in between the, the inches there is the half an inch line that matches on each one one side is uh, uh, sixteenths and the other side is um, 30 seconds but they do uh, line up so that's what I use for my guide I don't know if, if it comes out perfect or not but And usually it's all cut when you quit hearing that that weird noise but I always seem to have a little piece that doesn't cut okay and then I'm going to cut a little piece to float this on and this one doesn't have to be quite as precise. We just want it to 
be there. I don't know why I always grab those. So we're just going to make our little notch there and make a little notch there. Don't cut that again. So see, I'm just, you can't really see it, I don't think, but right there where the, the like right there at the one line, there's two lines that intersect. That's the one I'm going to use. Oops, I cut into it. That's not good. Okay. Right there. It's about even. So if you don't have one of these, you could use your pencil. You could do this. You'll still be cutting it. Um, my big cutter doesn't cut fabric that well. So, yeah, just go like that and cut along that line. And that works too. And you know, don't cut with the very tips or it like distorts your fabric just a little bit right there and I'm going to finish cutting this right there and I don't know if it's perfect or not close enough do you know how this is so gross look how dirty that is I need to clean it okay so so I got this right here, and then maybe I'll put another piece of this like right about there, and then I'll hate this one. I'm going to do this the easy way. <laughs> so we're going to go here to about there. My glue didn't come off on the tape. Okay, that wasn't cool. I have never had that happen before. The tape always stays on the carrier tape. Okay, I think we're back on track. That was weird.
Maybe it's a change of the weather, I don't know. Usually this is so waxy that the, hmm, I don't know, that, I'm not gonna ponder it right now. Okay, so just to be on the safe side, I'm going to get this glue. Darn, the sun's coming out. I did it before, but I didn't. Yeah. Okay. I think this is going to have to be a one and done, so I better get it right the first time. I'm gone, and I got glue coming or tape coming off of this. Hmm. Okay. I'm not even going to put that on there yet. I'm going to make sure I get this on here first. Okay. Other side. The other side. Okay. So I got that. And we got that. Just making sure it lays right. That. I think I want the yellow one right here. And then this. Okay, so. I think that looks good. I, I like that. So, let me just real quick. I just want to like give this a little definition.
So I think that is enough. Right there. Just to make it pop a little bit. Right about there. Okay. Okay, and then that is going to go right there. Oh, I hate it when it bubbles up like that. I'm like, oh, I don't know how to make it stop. Everybody says, tap it on the table and then burp it. I don't know what that means. Ugh, I don't know what that means. is like messed up. See, and it came back off its track. So weird. So weird. stings. I just put a little dab on each corner. And it will keep it down. I don't do this all the time. Only if I'm using a pocket on a cover or someplace where it's going to get a lot of movement. That's just me. Then, this goes right there, and I think it's cute, and I like it. Okay. Okay. 
I like the cheerfulness of the yellow. excited we're gonna be in the 70s soon oh I'm so excited no more getting out of your your car and just gasping for air I do man that heat just sucks it out of me And this is the kind of cover you could put flowers on, leaves, it would be pretty. Okay. So now I gotta push. I wanna get that into that fabric. Ladies, do you have any other hobbies be besides like paper crafting? Like, I think you need more than one because sometimes you get burned out on one. Then you can go to the other one and, or other ones. Like I like to crochet. I like to loom knit. Um, I do like to sew, just not um, on a sewing machine. If I can find a project to and so I uh, I like doing that and outdoor stuff Smelly glue. right around the corners. Okay. So then, fabric hat dries pretty quick, so you kind of, I wanna make sure I have it facing off. And then I'm going to center my cover, hopefully. Okay, I think that's close. Okay.
Okay. That's that. You could put flowers, you could put leaves, you could do anything you wanted with this cover. It's very pretty. And it is not exactly perfect. I can see that. There is a little, like up here, it's not perfect. But it's okay. I'm keeping it. The only thing I am going to do is just trim this straight. Cannot do it with these scissors anymore. And then trim this up a little bit more. That's it. I don't think they're really even. That's my problem. <clears throat> I think this one is a little longer than that one. I mean, not a whole lot. I could just leave it, but... Because eventually, you know, I'll mess it up trying to fix it. Okay, so that, that kind of fixed my problem. Okay, I like it. I'm going to leave it for now. I'm going to leave it. That's my cover. So then, pretty soon, you have to think about your signature. Like, our signature is not going to be... Um, super thick but we are going to sew a signatron right there or you could sew your signatron back here either one it doesn't matter because we reinforce both sides with tie back so it doesn't matter but right now we're going to just work on a couple tags I got these tags I'm going to cut um, a larger tag for in there and then a I think I might stagger the tags right here so yeah so this one will be there this one will be there and then there'll be a longer one okay but this video is already 35 minutes so I think I'm gonna end it here and uh, I'm going to end it with the cover because we are going to have to make, we're going to make a tag for in here, a much smaller tag than this because we wouldn't want to block that, but maybe about that big. And um, so, okay, I am going to get out of this video and then I'm going to... Um, Cut my tags and maybe even cut the inside matting for them and then we'll be back to assemble them and decorate them and um, put them in our journal so bye guys I'll see you later